never get a solo. Never. I'll never get anything. Come on, it's not as bad as all that. Now cheer up. How about we have a go at a duet? Yeah, I suppose. OK, ready? People of Israel, you long for water, and the Lord has answered your prayer. Behold the power of God. Hey, mate, what do you think you're doing? We're in the middle of water restrictions here, mate. Uh, you can't just go whacking the infrastructure and risking our supply. Oh, look at that. You can't waste water, mate. It's an Australian. You can't waste water, mate. It's uh, un Israelian. So, Jenkins, what's your, uh, your issue here? Uh, yes, well, we seem to be having a problem with the directive to stone the mediums and spiritualists. Does uh, anyone have some Doritos? Yeah, not quite what we meant, Jenkins. So, Goliath, huh? Yep. I mean, you've got to be pretty brave to go up against someone who could, you know, eat you. I suppose so. I mean, I guess with God on your side, then you can't really... Hold on. Why do you need more than one? You don't think this is going to work. What? No. You don't think this is going to work or you would only need one stone? No. It's just that maybe he has friends. Friends? Yeah. Friends? He's a nine-foot killing machine. He doesn't have any friends. He eats his friends. Seriously, what do you need one stone for? Fine! Here I am, risking my neck, killing killing machines, and I can't even have two stones! No. Right. Just no. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Uh huh? What is that? Uh huh? Dude, that's seriously gonna suck. That's it? M my house is floating out in the middle of the ocean. And the only words of cover you can give me is, that's got to suck. Dude. Look, we can't all be, ooh, look at my pretty rock house built on my solid rock foundation. Look, with mortgage rates the way they were, I, I couldn't afford rock. All I could afford was sand. But the rock is free. Don't even start with your filthy rock logic. I made my decision, and I'm going to stick with it, no matter how stupid or ill-conceived it might seem. I guess the first uh, step to recovery is hitting rock bottom. Or sand bottom. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs broke open and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. Now that, that's what I'm talking about. So what do you think that's all about? What? The whole rock splitting thing. You think he's some kind of anti-rock hate crime or something? Nah, I think it symbolises the great redemptive work of Jesus and its impact on the spiritual and metaphysical plane. Oh, so you don't think he's being a rockist? I don't think he has anything in particular against rocks, no. I just think he was expressing his feelings about Christ's love by reflecting on scripture. Well, if you say so. Seemed a little bit arty though, didn't it? Indeed. <laughs>